Hello my dear YouTube family. Welcome to your channel Computer Science with Meena Dobra. Hope all of you are doing great. Well this video is a special one because it's the 100th video on this channel. I thank each one of you for motivating and supporting me to come this far and I hope to receive the same in times to come. What is the agenda of this video? Well in this video I will tell you how we can make a random strong password generator in Python. Fine so the topic is very interesting and I assure you that when you will be through this video you will definitely learn something good. Fine. So let's get started. Simply defined a password is a string of characters used to verify a user's identity in an authentication process. Fine. Authentication process is when we are trying to verify that okay we authorize using uh, our names and we authenticate using giving you know by giving some kind of a credential password being one of it most popularly used credential that we use in an authentication process so we use passwords on a daily basis you know uh, we all use passwords on a daily basis to access our email accounts our social media accounts to perform online transactions online banking to protect our devices to protect our wi-fi isn't it but is knowing the use of password uh, enough do you know that one of the most common ways, one of the most common ways that hackers break into computers is by guessing passwords that are weak and commonly used. Fine. So what is a weak password? A weak password is short, simple, common, easy to guess and people often use obvious passwords such as the names of their children, relatives, pets, favorite personalities house number, mobile number, date of birth, etc. in order not to forget them because we keep uh, whatever we tend to remember, we keep it simple. So if we want that we should, you know, uh, be always able to recall our passwords, then we'll keep them simple and we'll try to keep them around something that is, you know, very close to us or maybe which is pretty much known to us. These examples being some of them. But it has the, there's, you know, there's all these uh, if we keep such sort of names we become vulnerable to different sort of uh, online threats why because if we are keeping it simple the password is always easy to detect not only by humans but by computer also fine so conversely if I just say conversely a strong password fine a strong password that is difficult to guess is prohibitively difficult for common hackers to break into a machine. Fine, if I keep a password as opposed to weak, I keep it strong, I will I will ensure to a great extent that nobody will be able to guess it. So how do I make a password strong? There are two qualities, two major qualities of a strong password. First is that it has a larger number of characters. Fine, it's not short, but it has a larger number of characters, say 12 to 16. Fine. And then it is a mix of numeric digits, upper and lowercase letters and special characters like underscore, dollar, hash, at, hyphen, whatever is allowed uh, by the application for a user to use. You can mix up all these characters and form a strong password. It will be lengthier as compared to a weak password and it will not be uh, easy to guess because it will be a mix of all these things. Fine. So when I know that why uh, strong passwords are important then I can even generate a strong password for myself randomly using a programming language and definitely definitely Python is one of our favorite programming languages in which everything is so easy so that is why I've made this video so that you know we can learn how we can make a random strong password random I'm using because every time you'll run the code you will get a randomly uh, generated strong password that's the title of this video random strong password generator in Python. So let's get into the code right away and I will take you to the code and I will explain it line by line. I'll dissect it line by line so that you know it becomes very easy for all of you to guess. See, let's first run this code and see what this, what it has to offer to us. Fine. Let's just run this code and see what it has to offer to us. See, when you run this code, you'll be prompted to enter the length of a password. Fine. Suppose I enter 14. So this is the uh, random password that has been generated to me by my code. This from here. Okay, from here. This is a 14 letter randomly generated password. Let me run it again. Fine. Again, suppose now I uh, enter, let's say I enter 14 again. 
so i will get this sort of a password see now you can see it's a mix of both these passwords are a mix of upper lower case letters digits and special symbols so nobody it will be difficult uh, to detect both by humans and by a computer so with that now that i've passed on the idea to you let me just explain this code to you it's very simple there are more of comments in this code than the actual code lines because but comments i have put you can pause over here and take the screenshot so that you know this code becomes self explanatory and i'll explain it line by line to make this code we require two modules random module and string module i require two modules random module and string module so string module i had recently uploaded a video on my channel i'll provide its link in description in which i've explained the nine different string constants provided by python string module i have made use of four of them in this code मैं इसको छोटा भी कर सकती हूँ आई कैन इवन रिड्यूस इट फर्दर आई टेल इट टू यू इन ड्यू कॉर्स ऑफ टाइम सो वट यू हैव टू डू सी यू हैव टू इम्पोर्ट स्ट्रिंग एंड फ्रॉम देयर यू हैव टू यूज स्ट्रिंग डॉट एश स्काई अंडर स्कोर लोअर केस कॉन्स्टेंट विच इज गोइंग टू रिटर्न अ स्ट्रिंग कंटेनिंग ऑल द लोअर केस एल्फाबेट्स फ्रॉम ए टू जेड स्टोर इट इन अ वेरिएबल लोअर फाइन सिमिलरली यू विल यूज स्ट्रिंग मॉड्यूल स्ट्रिंग नेम डॉट एश स्काई अंडर स्कोर अपर केस string constant which will return all the capital letters to you a to z store it in the variable upper alternatively what you can do you can directly use string dot ascii underscore letters because letters jab aap use karte ho it gives you uh, lower case upper case combined this these two lines can be further reduced to a single line by storing uh, uh, the output of string dot ascii underscore letters in a variable fine but just to emphasize on uh, separate use of lower and upper case mandatory use of lower and upper case i have kept it separate then a strong password should also contain some digits so i have used this string dot digits this digits con uh, constant will return a string containing the 10 digits 0 to 9 and we'll assign them to variable digits now next is it should also have some punctuation symbols some special characters so all the punctuation symbols available Uh, on this python uh, in the python character set they can be retrieved using punctuation constant of string module so string dot punctuation if you will write and it is going to return these sets of uh, a string containing all the punctuation letters all the punctuation characters and you can store it in symbols variable so this is the raw material with which we will be designing our password lower case letters upper case letters digits and special symbols we are going to use all four of them ab ye to bahut sare hain hai na to but in me se jitna whatever length we require we will randomly pick up the things from here okay now let's see what happens next step is to combine them concatenate we all know python can use we can use plus operator to concatenate strings so we these four variables have added lower plus upper plus digits plus symbols okay so this and i have assigned the output to combine so this is going to give me everything in one string lower case upper case digits and special symbols the punctuation characters in one line okay now aap soch sakte hoge ki hum ek line mein bhi is kaam ko kar sakte the i could have directly written combine is equal to string dot as ka lower case plus string dot as ka upper case The underscore upper case plus string dot digits plus string dot punctuation. You can further shorten it. It's up to you. I wanted to explain it properly, step by step. So I have kept it separate. Right? So this combined string will get this thing. Now I'll do just one thing. I will take this combined string from here, combined variable from here, and I'll explain it to you at the prompt. Fine. So I'll just. paste this string that i have obtained ab i'll use it later i'm doing the work fine ab dekho kya hoga let's see what happens next after combining all these things together next step is to take the length of the password fine so we have displayed a heading python random strong password generator and here i've asked the user to enter the length of the strong password so this is going to get stored in variable length as length is an integer we have converted the uh, Uh, this thing output uh, converted the input entered by the user using input function uh, using the int function and right? that casted this to length because input by default takes or uh, returns a string so i have converted that into integer now next step now the role of random module comes into see line number 17 just see we have used random modules sample function there is a separate 
dedicated video on random module functions on my channel. I will provide the link in description. Do watch the detailed explanation of sample video. Fine, what sample does? See, sample, random dot sample takes two arguments, a sequence. That sequence may be a list. It may be a tuple. It may be a string. It may be a set. Fine. So, I've taken few examples of a sequence. Fine. And it takes a sequence and it returns a list with sequence and, you know, an integer value. A string or a tuple or a list or a set and it uh, you have to mention an integer value. What it will do? It will pick up n items randomly. It will choose n items randomly from the given sequence. Fine. And return them in the form of list without changing the original sequence. So what does this mean? That if you write random dot sample combine. Now combine is containing all these things. Fine. And length you have taken from the user. Suppose user has entered 14. So what random.sample is going to do, it is going to pick up 14 characters randomly from the combined string and return them in the form of a list. I will show it to you at the prompt because this program will not show the output of S. So see what happens if you paste it over here. Uh, but for that, before that, I will just import random module. And now see, length also, I will mention it directly over here. Fine, I'll end up 14C. And now when I print S, this is the list I get. Storing small e, capital R, then this semicolon, then Z, capital Z, small, so on. These 14 characters have been randomly picked up from this combined string. Fine, I can call it again. And let's make the length 16 this time. So it is going to return me a string, a, a list containing 16 randomly chosen values from this combined string. So I hope the use of sample is clear and it is these values are going to be unique because see if your uh, sequence contains all uh, unique letters, there's no duplicacy over here. No? Every letter is appearing, every character is appearing only once. So the output that you will get from random.sample that is also going to contain everything unique. Like you will not have G again or R again, no character will be repeated. Fine. So this is the way, this is the output of random.sample. Now, a password is not a list. You know, password is supposed to be a string. So, how do I convert the randomly returned elements in this list into a string? How do I convert? I'm getting my point. How do I convert the elements of this list into a string? Fine. So, for that, I will be using the join method of string, Python string object. So I'll use this join method. So what does join method do? It returns a string by joining all the string elements of an attribute. Whatever you will give. In our case, we will provide it S. Fine. And it is going to join them, all the elements, using a separator that you will be using to call join. So you, I'm calling join with the help of a blank string. See, there are two double quotes put together. Fine. And I'm joining all the elements of S list, which has been returned by random.sample using this blank character. So like when, when I'm not giving any character, so all these elements will get combined without any space, without any gap in between. And join returns me a string. So the string returned will be stored in password variable, which I can show to the user by printing it on screen. So let me first show you how this pass, this join works. I show it separately at the prompt. See, this is our S. So when I write like this, now I pass type password. Fine. So what was my R? G, R, 5, at, all these things were there. These 16 letters. Can you see they've all been joined. Joined using the separator that you have given for join, to call join. Now this separator is a blank string. So it has, combined all these list characters into a string, no gap in between, nothing. And now I get the password. Fine. So this is how this random uh, password generator works. You will first of all import the two needed modules, string and random. Next, you will use all these four constants from string module, combine them and form a single string. Then ask the length of the password from user use random.sample, pass on the list and the length, you get a list containing, pass on the string, combined string and the length and you get a list containing randomly chosen uh, 
characters from the combined string then you can join them and form a join the list elements and form a password as a string and display it to the user so let's now run this code fine so it asks me to enter the length of the password i enter suppose i enter 12 i get this i rerun this code now i enter 17 i get this so like i can run it and generate a strong password for myself this was about this code children i hope you could get it and you can convert it reduce it to mere three lines you know two to three lines like suppose you are importing a random module i'll tell you import it then in combine give everything directly take the length from the user and then you can merge these two lines if you want let me know in the comment section i will provide the shorter code for it also for all of you but i know you all know python you can try it on your own and let me know in the comments section how was this video the hundredth one on your channel and till we meet again i just have to say one thing children happy learning god bless you make this channel successful with all your love and do share this video with your friends like karna comment karna share karna aur mujhe batana ki kaisa laga theek hai take care bye bye god bless you